John Shagnon, PCS Outdoors. Um, we're setting some mink and muskrat and beaver and otter traps today. Um, taking my favorite trap, a number one and a half with double jaws. Got it set before I get into the water. And I got my drowner wire, um, two poles cut. Uh, you really don't have to use bait at certain sets in the water. I like the blind set, but I also uh, use a lot of lead and lures, make pocket sets, but this particular one, we're just gonna set the one and a half um, just off of where uh, the mink's gonna have to go around the uh, uh, culvert to get underneath the bridge. It's an old railroad trestle back in the woods. So basically you take one stake to the deeper water and uh, make sure when you put your trap on that it the lock goes down when the animal first gets caught and then uh, the direction of the lock if you try to pull the uh, swivel back it won't go back so the animals humanely dispatched. This particular trap is a one and a half double jaw duke caught many a mink and muskrat in these. My daughter Haley is my camera person today and her boots won't allow her to get in the water so she's going to film me from the banks and I'll uh, grab the camera and take a picture a couple times down at the set location. We're on Christmas break 2010. The new year will be tomorrow, so we'll see if we can catch our uh, first mink of the new year. Okay, here we can see the uh, bridge and the waterway underneath the bridge. And we pretty much know mink are working these banks, and uh, we have set the trap. Here's the front grounder stake. And you can see the trap is just simply placed under two inches of water where the high bank is going to force the mink into the uh, water to go underneath the bridge. And you can see the there's actually a old pillar there that is my drowner at the other end. And the swivel on the trap is basically made only to go one direction. So Hopefully we'll find a mink sitting right down here where the, the uh, end of the drowner lock is. And that's our first mink set for the day. We went out today to set for mink and I can see I gotta set some extra traps because there's raccoon tracks everywhere. It warmed up a little bit above freezing. Uh, tomorrow will be the new year so see if we can't catch our first muskrat mink and raccoon of the new year. been pretty cold, but uh, I think the raccoons are really going to move again tonight because it's not freezing. Make sure the drowner lock is going to go down the wire where the uh, muskrat or raccoon is going to be efficiently, humanely drowned. going to make a pocket set. It's probably the easiest and most effective. going to use my favorite lure, Lennon's uh, muskrat, which in my opinion is not only the best muskrat lure, but the best raccoon lure. Which we'll see tomorrow morning when we check this series of pocket sets.
Not a real big bank here, but small hole will still uh, attract uh, the fur-bearing water critters. Put a little lure back in the hole. Probably only going to have a couple days to run these sets before it uh, freezes up solid. We're going to set some uh, later today at a creek that uh, a little faster running and uh, it will keep the traps operating longer. But this creek's close to home so give Haley something to do on Christmas vacation. I just splash some water to make it look a little more natural. And grab a twig to put some uh, Lennon's lure on. Lennon muskrat lure that is. the good stuff. And there's a finished pocket set.